Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritionist.com. And today, have you ever been told you need to eat healthier? Your doctor says you've got to lower your cholesterol, your heart disease, diabetes, all of these things are pressing on you. And you're saying, I don't know how to eat healthy. Well, today I'm gonna to share with you what you need to have on hand to start baking healthy, to start baking healthy foods. Look at this challah bread that I just made. Doesn't that just look delicious? Oh, I can't wait to enjoy it tonight. So it's definitely gonna be good. And if you haven't watched my challah bread recipe video, go check that out right after this. So first of all, we wanna learn what do we need to have on hand to start baking healthy. In my cookbooks, the Healthy Treasures Cookbook and the Satisfied Baking with Whole Grain Goodness, I share with you all of the nutritional benefits by making your own baked goods. What you have when you take grains of wheat or different grains varieties and you mill them yourself in a mock mill, you get more nutrition in that grain of wheat than you could ever have in a multivitamin from no matter where you're buying it. God gave us amazing health benefits. So we've seen cholesterol numbers being brought down to normal ranges. We've seen heart disease lessened. We've seen, you know, just having the extra fiber. Diabetes is pretty much eliminated type two. So many health benefits by eating foods that God called good. We teach about that all the time in our Treasures of Healthy Living Bible Study. Now, let me just quickly go through. In order for you to bake healthy, we have to start with flour. Now, this is not store-bought flour. This is flour that I freshly milled. In fact, this is a blend of spelt and kamut, two different grains that I love to mix together. You have to have the grains. So check out the links down below. I'll send you to one of my blogs that tells you where to buy your own grains. If you buy your own grains and you mill it yourself, you take charge of your health. So number one, you're going to need some grains. Number two, you're going to need a mill and you want a good mill that's going to last and it's going to do a good job. Check out my video down below on what is the best mill to buy. So that gives us our flour. Flour is not bad, but there's many scriptures that talk about Jesus is the bread of life. In Isaiah it says, why do you spend your money on what is not bread? Well, the bread in the grocery store, the bread in the restaurants, that's not real bread because it's filled with lots of fillers and preservatives and most of the grain, the nutrition has been stripped away it's just a flavor enhancer is all it is. So when you start eating real bread, just as Jesus is the real, our real savior, you're going to notice a difference in your health right away. One of my friends says, wow, I went back to making bread and I lost 20 pounds over four months. Yeah, it's very possible because it's a real food. So we've got the grains, we've got the mill, we need to be able to mill it ourselves. We then, if we're gonna make baked goods, we're gonna probably be making some yeast products that's going to rise. So you need to buy some yeast, typically in the one pound vacuum sealed package, like Sam's and Costco will carry that, Amazon will carry it online, and then I seal it in a mason jar and keep it in the refrigerator. You're going to need a set of dry measuring cups. If you're not used to cooking, dry means they have a flat top, if they're liquid, they have a pouring spout. So you're gonna need a set of dry measuring cups. Along with this, you're gonna need a set of measuring spoons. So a nice, easy one that you like handling. You're going to need a good knife to cut your breads. You're going to need good ingredients, such as a good olive oil, and two other ingredients is going to be a really good salt. I always recommend the Real Salt brand. And then if you're doing different baked goods, you might need baking powder. Make sure it's a non-GMO baking powder with no aluminum. So these are just key things to always have on hand. No matter what happens in our economy, no matter what happens in our world politically, if you can bake bread for your family, you can satisfy them and keep them happy. So we need to learn how to bake different breads or even just different baked goods. You're going to need a set of really good pans. I've used a couple different brands and I've had the pans that are like black because so much spray has accumulated over the years. These are my favorite pans. These are USA pans. I'll put a link to their company down below. I don't have any coupons to give you a discount, but they're still a really good company for you to buy from. You can get every type of pan that you want. You can get, I got grain everywhere. You got these little bread loaves that come in all different sizes. And I love making mini muffins for my grandkids, just in case they aren't 
into what I'm baking, I make smaller ones, and then if they really love them, then they can have more, but rather than making the great big muffins. But I definitely have the big muffin pans as well. So you're going to need a flat pan. You're going to need muffin um, bread pans, and you might even want to get some muffin pans. So if you have these tools, you're always going to be able to bake. My favorite tools also to have on hand, this is my rolling pen. It's a double at double rolling pen. The small one is really good for going up inside things. The big one is for my big rolling out. And then this is a dough scraper. <laughs> I use this all the time. When I first bought this back in 2003, I used this all the time. So it's a very low investment, but it's so easy to use. You can use it for so many different things. You're just gonna always be grabbing it, chopping things, scraping things, lifting things, the go-to for this. Now, you might even want to have a drying rack. If you're doing like cookies, even your bread should be put on a drying rack so that you have even you have it drying evenly underneath so you don't get a soggy bottom. Very important. Now, if you don't have the money to buy everything, you do need grain and you do need a mill. Everything else you can just make do with what you already have on hand. Not only should we be very smart about our health, but we also have to be smart about our, our economy, about our finances. Now, remember, this bread doesn't just make itself. You get to make it and you get to enjoy it. Beyond what I've already shared with you, the other thing you need is good recipes. And I just got done making this challah bread out of this collection. This is a free collection of recipes I have for you. It's out of our Celebrate Jesus course, and it's totally free. I'll put a link to that down below as well. So if you're ready to bake, if you're ready to change the health of your family, my family, my husband and I, when I started doing this in our first month, we did the Daniel fast and I started baking bread. And I've shared this before, but maybe you haven't heard it. His cholesterol went from 300 down to 140, and his triglycerides went from 900 to 160. Yeah, happy day, not to mention the weight loss. It was incredible. And people will tell you, oh, you shouldn't eat this stuff. It'll kill you. No, that's not true. Because what God designed is always going to bring healing to our body because he promises us in his word. It's only when man gets in and starts to alter what God created that we lose and especially if they start trying to change what scripture says, then we really lose. But we always have the word for ourselves, and we treasure it in our heart. So we will always know what God wants us to do because he can speak to us through his word. Well, I hope this helps you get started. Oh, I forgot to mention bags. So when I store my flour for longer than what I'm going to use right away, then I'll put it in these bags and put it in the freezer and it's good for up to one month. So that settles it. I can't wait to see your comments about how you're getting started baking healthy for your family. And this flour can be used for everything from muffins to pancakes to biscuits to cookies to cakes. Everything that has flour, you need to mill yourself. Thanks for letting me share with you God's recipe for excellent health. And thank you for understanding how much God loves you. He's loved you from the moment of conception. And he made you specifically just as you are, both male and female, because he has a purpose for you. Thanks for watching.